I'm Mike Fakus. I'm a driver operator with the city of West Des Moines, Iowa, and we, uh, we're here at FDIC today and we want to show you a little bit about our truck. So West Des Moines is a city of about 70,000 people at nighttime and our population doubles during the, during the daytime hours. Uh, we run five full-time stations. We have three engines and two ladders. This will be our, our second ladder. Um, so we were at four engines before. Um, we decided to go with the with Velocity cab on this truck. All of our other trucks have these, the Velocity or the Impel. We, we're trying to keep everything consistent uh, within our fleet so that it's easy for drivers when they change stations. So all of our cab layout um, has been great. Pierce has been able to work with us and keep our, our switches the same from truck to truck. Um, <coughs> this is a new, a new change for us. We went with the vinyl seats this time instead of the fabric seats. Uh, we're trying to do a little bit more, uh, a little better job, I guess, of, of cleaning out the uh, trucks and stuff after we're done, just to try and be aware of the, the Crescent engines on the job. Uh, this truck has the uh, Cummins X15 605 horsepower uh, diesel in it, and it's got 1,805 uh, five pounds of torque. So we, uh, <coughs> we lay all the backs of the cabs out as well, the same. We have two, uh, two rear-facing seats and, and two forward-facing seats. The forward-facing seats the guys use most of the time for uh, EMS calls and, and ride backwards on the other calls. So. We like the raised roof. Uh, it didn't really take much away from us on this truck as far as flying the aerial over the top because we went with a water tank on there anyway. We have a 300-gallon water tank and 30 gallons of foam on here. Uh, we have a Watrous 2,000-gallon uh, minute pump. And uh, our other aerial is, is a well is a 2,000 gallons. So we're trying to keep some of that consistency throughout our department. <coughs> we decided to go with three cross lays. We have two inch and three-quarter uh, cross lays with foam capable and one two and a half. That's also foam capable. We did go with the, uh, the Ascendant 107 uh, aerial on this one. I, the option of, of 105 is also out there, I guess, but uh, we decided with the, the tip load of the 107, you know, it was attractive to us. It was one of the main reasons that we went with this, with this truck. Storage was a big reason for us. Um, we'll get down here a little bit further and we'll, we'll go through our storage compartments. But as you can see, we also went with a galvanized uh, structure on the, on the truck, the frame, and uh, on the substructure here. Uh, we've had a lot of issues with salt on the roads and corrosion, so we, we decided to try this for a, for a change and see how this works out for us. <laughs> we have cord reels on both sides. There's also a Harrison 10,000, or uh, yeah, 10K generator on here, uh, hydraulically driven. <laughs> During the build process, we, uh, we changed from a uh, more traditional uh, light to this low profile, high vis light. Uh, we really think they're going to do well for our uh, department. It really lights up the scene really nice, so we're excited to, to put those into use. We also uh, put an area in here for, our, for a dead lay with a blitz nozzle on it. Um, just gives us the ability to get big water and a fire in a quick time. And then uh, this is new for us too, putting these, uh, these toolboxes in the engineer's compartment. It allows us to, to keep everything well organized and uh, just keeps everything right kind of where we want it to go. We're going to put some foam in there and, and cut the tools in there to fit specifically. We tried to keep this as generic as possible with a lot of options for us. Um, <clears throat> these trays are full transverse compartments and come out. And then we have the adjustability of the shelf back and forth this way as well. Same goes for this. This is going to be designed, we designed this compartment for uh, some of the smaller battery powered electric fans. So we're looking forward to uh, being able to carry a few more of those on the, on the rig with us. <coughs> air bottle storage, uh, we're, we're gonna be able to carry 20 bottles on this truck of extra, of extra air. That should help us out uh, considerably even eliminate the need for our air trailer sometimes on scene. As we go back here, this originally was going to be hose storage, but we decided that we could get enough hose uh, in the other compartments. So this is just gonna be an extra compartment probably for the operator's gear. When he's, uh, when he's not wearing it, the tiller operator's gear. So the tiller concept is new uh, for, for our city. Actually, it's, uh, it's gonna be the only tiller in the state of Iowa. So we're pretty proud of that fact, and proud to, to bring the tractor-drawn aerial back to, uh, to Iowa again. So we'll climb up in here. <coughs> Visibility was really important for us in this truck. So not having these pillars in the side here was a big selling point for us to be able to see and make the, the visibility as, as uh, I guess, as open as possible for the tiller operator. 
We also mounted cameras down on the side so the tiller operator can see the, uh, <coughs> the stuff right along the, excuse me, the, this, whatever he has, obstacles along the side of the truck here. So we uh, decided with this flip up door here and the, and, the, and the side doors, we thought that would be a little better feature than the, the slide doors, um, just as far as safety, not having to walk through here and smack your head on the doors. We carry two 35 foot, two section ladders, uh, 24 foot, a 16 uh, roof, and a 14 roof, and we also have two foldable attic ladders in here, along with a little giant uh, A-frame. This truck is in one of our busiest districts uh, in the city as far as fire, uh, fires go, so we, having to have the capability of, of carrying LDH on here was a must for us. So it looks like we're gonna be able to get about 650 feet of five inch on this truck, 400 on this side, 250 on the other side. Uh, so that should that get us up to what the rest of our trucks in our city carry for LDH. Moving down this side, it's pretty much a mirror image of the, uh, of the driver's side of the truck. Everything is set up just so we can have some flexibility uh, of, of where we mount our tools and working off both sides of the truck. You notice here we did opt for the uh, outrigger cameras. Uh, we we have a lot of tight apartment complexes, and this will allow the driver to uh, to focus in on where he needs to, to position the truck in case he needs to shoot that outrigger out between a couple of cars. So one of the reasons we go with the Velocity Cab is it gives our officers a lot more room. It gives allows us to uh, decide you know where we want to put the MDT. It gives them room for uh, gear when they're not wearing it, and just, it's it's really a flexible cab for us. I just want to thank uh, Reliant Fire for helping us with this project. I also want to thank uh, the, the City Council of the City of West Des Moines and the citizens. They always provide us top-notch equipment and uh, we'll continue to uh, make the best use of it for them. Thanks.